Hey y'all, it's Ryan from Ryan Can Make It, and today I'm here to teach you how I make these sublimation bottle opener keychains. Now I do sell these, of course, just about everything on my channel. I sell all the links, resources to the blanks, the finished product. If you want me to make you one, will all be in the description of this video. So these are stainless steel double-sided bottle openers, and I put this little clasp on the top. So if you like small business things, DIY projects, crafts, if you're a small business, you like to do sublimation, stick around. I'm gonna show you all my tips and tricks on making these stainless steel bottle openers. So let's go do that right now. So this is my sublimation blank. It has a special coating on it and it's not just plain stainless steel. So it has like a polyester coating which will accept the dye sublimation ink. I've already measured it. I just measured around and then added about a quarter of an inch. So that would be like an extra eighth of an inch or so. And make sure to avoid that little part right there because you don't want anything cut off right there. A lot of suppliers where you can get different blanks for sublimation will actually provide you a template and some won't. So get used to measuring your own blanks. And then I just double it, make sure it's aligned, and then I'm just line it up and fold it in half so I can do both sides at the same time. So that's what we're gonna go do here. Now I just have Teflon paper down. Some people, if you're using some kinds of sublimation paper, you may need to put paper before and after it. That's what the recommendation is from most people. However, I really like this HTV Ryan sublimation paper and I've been using it for years now and it does not bleed through on either side. I haven't had any issues with it. Now, if this was something where there would be not double-sided and there's a chance that there's gonna be ink on the bottom, then I would put blowout paper on the bottom. For my bottle openers, I've not really ever did this. My heat press is set at 385 for 60 seconds and it's gonna be a good, nice, firm pressure. So I like to line it up on here first. So I just line it up on here and make sure that the ends are not gonna be cut off or anything. So once I know it's all nice and lined up, I like to put the hinge, the hinge of my paper on that side, so that way, make sure it doesn't move, and put it down. That way when I fold my press down here, it will um, close that paper on there. It's always a good idea to kind of take a peek. And again, that's going for 60 seconds here. And I'm just taking a piece of like scrap paper and setting it on my desk because I have found that the stainless steel sublimation products will stain your desktop, silicone pad, whatever, because they're really, really hot. So that's what I'm doing there. Okay, it's almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my nice pink glove on. Again, you can find these on Amazon. The link to these ones are in the description. You do not wanna touch this with your bare hands. It is super duper hot. Okay, we're ready. Flip that up. Both sides are done at the same time. First of all, look at the ink release on the HTV Ron sublimation paper. That's why I use it, one of the 500 reasons. And then here is how this turned out. And I did both sides at the same time. And this is a keychain bottle opener. It has a little hole on there, so I'm gonna put it on my paper over here to chill out for just a little while, and then we'll come back and put some hardware on it. So now this bottle opener is nice and cooled off and it's not going to burn me. I just use these little jump rings here. I like to use these jump rings that are like already open on the end because I don't like taking them apart and a little lobster clasp. And then just some little jewelry making tools. So I just put that through there and put that on. Hold one side. And 
and that uh, is how that is. I also have these where you can put a name on the other side with the plain stainless steel, but this customer just wanted the flag on both sides and that's what they got and it's going out today and then for packaging lately i've been using these like holographic um little pouches just to jazz it up a little bit i thought they were fun anyway thanks again for tuning in and watching how to sublimate these stainless steel bottle openers if you have any questions at all, drop a comment and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Again, all the resources, links, um, if you want to buy one for yourself will also be in the description of this video. And if you got any educational content or you just had a good time here or want to support a small business like me growing here on YouTube, please, please, please click the subscribe button below and drop a comment that said I subscribed and I will make sure to go through and I will reply to all of your comments. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video.